Some products disinfect and whiten, and others disinfect and help remove it. Like half an hour plus, ten times better than boots on large scale removal. At Haycar, every use card is a warranty. To find your perfect one is easy. Call here, maybe. To find yours, search Haycar. We need to wash and shingle and get mixed in stores. Is it clean? Wash after wash. Residue could build up in the machine as an odor. Even in short cycles and low temperatures, use Calvon 3 in 1 in every wash. Calvon protection machine for the line scale, residue, and the odor. Clean the machine, clean the clothes. On the right hand side, I'm Fulton. My hair won't bring home the title. On a normal hair wash hair day, Kaylee's still screaming like anything. I'm not having that. That I want my baby Goriel shampoo. What about men? It's a bit sexist, isn't it? But when men that are abused and picked on and snapped out of the house. <laughs> No, I'm just saying like yesterday when I was like, shut up, Paul! <laughs> Get out! I just walked in and picked up my... Yesterday when she was ranting in the early words, I understood the shut up, Paul. I'm saying the words and the rest of it. It's not the poor is protect, now it's supply. How about fuck off? 
Generation COVID. Since when did it become a generation? I thought it was a pandemic, not a generation. I'm not happy. No dinos. The biggest one, the boulder, or the most danger in the world. You could probably die shortly after. Maybe we should go and do a home visit. <laughs> Fuck off. I thought you said honey, sorry. It's money or buddy. And he didn't like to be with people, he'd rather be on his own in the mountains. You know what I mean? Walk, taking walks on his own. Thank you. 
to the Zephyr of the Society of the Medical Institute. A recently discovered letter now in the possession of the Bavarian State Archives is said to be the last letter ever written by the It shows that far from the being indifferent to the situation, the Zephyr is well aware of the threat and is actively trying to stop it. About one year ago, this archive was able to acquire the index of the last letter he wrote in his life. We have it here. He wrote this letter to his cousin, Prince Ludwig Ferdinand. To whom he was a kind of friendly relationship. Willi Marlindo was a man, offenbar um mit Dr. Bangen zu arbeiten. Most of our cousins. The gift of our scripture is in Latin disengaged. Today, I find myself confronted by two of my ministers who tried to obtain my application. This is the most destructive of all conspiracy. Who is behind this, I don't know, but I presume it to be Prince Leopold. Keep all of this temporarily to yourself, but please endeavor to find out what you can from the people of the church. I will take a moment to These are falsities. Solicited from people by their friends, and what we know is true. We must shine a light on it. With what they trust, we can trust the present people. He asks him to explore the situation in Europe and to inform him who else is a member of the conspiracy the king perceives, which is going on against him. So this letter shows that uh, the king wrote it. He was in a kind of clear state of mind. But help never came. After a short standoff, Ludwig gave himself up to the government and was taken back to school. As per his agreement with the government, Leopold was made Prince Regent to rule in his nephew's absence. Ludwig was shot. Uh, he stabbed. Um, he knew the um, He thought that this moment was still a long way off. He thought he still had cards to play. He, he allowed himself to be pretended or arrested, and he knows that his melody is about to be over. And this must be just an absolutely tragic moment for him. When he's in effective captivity, he is treated as a fact. But he must be going to be going to Ludwig was taken to Castle Bell on the shores of Lake Stormberg. Then he was to meet with Dr. Bell. We asked me 10 questions about the game and then you can confirm the prediction. And if you have the most predictions, you win some money. You think you know sports. And if you don't think you know sports, Unless you want to buy a wild card, which will give you three points in a game. So it's very important. In Ludwig the second, in Dr. Wooden, came to this date at about 6.35 in the evening from the Assessing the King Ludwig's death. The timing is everything that he was forced to be removed from the adventure. 
and within 24 hours he was in the castle of Berg and he was dead. To my mind, it's incredibly strange that two perfectly healthy grown men can go for a walk along the road after supper and yet end up face down, dead, drowned. The official report of the police by the government concluded that Ludwig had committed suicide. Had you commit suicide by drowning? We ask you 10 questions about the game and then you're going to come up with a prediction and if you have the most predictions, you win some money. Think you know sports. Play. And if you don't think you know sports, you should play. Actually, you unless you want to buy a wild card, which will give you three points and a game. So it's very important. Physicians discover that Dr. Gooden was missing half a fingernail. They later discover that half a fingernail is in the middle of the The only thing that here is that Ludwig Dash and Gooden tried to drive him, and in the sky, was part of the baby. How? The theory is that Ludwig now genuinely maddened by the fact he's lost his power and status. Gets his dog on the side of the lake, uh, and during the struggle, uh, when the Gibbon and then drowns himself, or perhaps even the other way around, um, and that is what the, the, the official inquiry will suggest. What interpretation of this document is not enough? For example, they both drowned, and yet they were found to be quite an emotion that was really not deep enough to put a brain on. Hey, yo, Caroline here. Puppet is the free to play live game show where sports fans can win cold hard cash. We run daily contests including PL matches. All you have to do is play your picture. There's not enough water for a grandman to drown. Concerns the fact that Ludwig was found floating on the surface of the lake, which some believe indicates that his lungs had not cleared up with water. Well, again, that can be doctored, though, Kari. Show the shelf on the mouth, 
Oh, we know someone will probably have this as well, don't we, honey? reality <laughs> reality comes in a Costa coffee cup There are a lot of 
conspiracy theories out there that are outlandish and strange, but I think that the death of King Ludwig, to my mind, certainly looks like it could have been in London. And I find it very strange that we still can't see the bones of King Ludwig. Because I think they'll probably show that Ludwig was shot. There was a fisherman living in, in the town of Bear here on the other side of the castle there. And there is a theory that he was actually involved in an escape attempt. Jakob Lubach was Ludwig's personal fisherman working on Lake Sternberg. He is alleged to have left behind a written account of what happened that day. After Ludwig's death, we never talked about what happened that night. There's some evidence that Jakob Lulo confided in his diary, and he wrote that he was waiting in a boat for King Ludwig, and that Ludwig approached his boat and was climbing in and was shot in the back by the armed guards. That's got more ties to the theory, isn't it? That's why he could have been shot in the boat and he could have fallen into the water and that's how he's found floating in the water, isn't it? In 2007, the Bavarian artist Gerard Siegfried Wittmann came forward with a sketch by the 19th century German artist Hermann Kauerbach. Wittmann claimed that the subject of the drawing was none other than King Ludwig himself, and it was made just moments after his death. Interestingly, it appears to shed blood easily from the subject's mind. If this is Victor Ludwig, and this is blood, this could very well indicate internal injury or internal trauma. However, this may well be another individual, it's very unreliable evidence, and these shadows could be anything from pencil marks to shadows on the drawing. Many experts disagree on whether the person depicted in the sketch really is King Ludwig. And with little known about its origins, it is hardly solid proof. Professor Wilhelm Lippert from the University of Augsburg is one of the leading authorities on King Ludwig II. He has a theory that instead of the king being the victim, he was in fact the murderer. Er wollte tatsächlich fliehen, aber Dr. Putten will ihn festhalten. Sie an ihn festhalten. Believes that a struggle that he tried to prevent the attack from escaping. But things turned violent, and in a fit of rage, Ludwig killed the man who had forced him to be removed from his throne. Horrified at what he had done, Ludwig decided not to flee. Instead, he walked out into the lake and took his own life. I can't believe that. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that theory it won't at all. He murdered. He was a murderer. Should we simply accept the official verdict given by the government? With so much conflicting information and so many unknowns, will we ever really know what happened that day by the lake? Or will Ludwig remain in death, much as he did in life? In the story. I doubt that we will ever find out what happened to him, and that's why I think this is Germany's greatest unsolved mystery. King Ludwig's a, a, an enigma because we simply don't know enough about him. And he died too young, I suppose. I think anybody who's a figure of fascination. Um, to the population, be it Marilyn Monroe, King Ludwig of Bavaria, will attract um, conspiracy theories. I suppose that might explain why people say that you know, the, the autopsy of King Ludwig is incorrect or has been, been doctored. Sie würden die 
Fenster gelassen, sie würden die, die Familie belasten, sie würden die Schimade belasten. Solche Dinge räumt man weg. This subject for the Bavarian government, for the royal family, this subject is closed. They're, they're, they're definitely not interested in any um, in reopening the situation. It's a drama. It's, it's an opera. You know, so who wouldn't want to be the story? You know? Certainly would be the like If you accept it's implausible that, that two middle-aged men can walk along a lake and end up dead after an hour, then you're going to have to accept the fact that we're going to be recovered. And the only way we can get to the bottom of it is to have a look at what this is. And if there's any gunshot wounds on your phone, then that would suggest that the report was it. But until you can do that, it's the worst of the I personally believe that the mystery is far more interesting and far more in line in keeping with his life than any hallucination. He was a mystery. He was about poetry and romance and drama, and you can't get more poetic or more romantic or dramatic than dying in such strange circumstances. Zucchini ginger naked cake. Thank you. 